What's up everybody, it's Shplef, and today we are going over Year 4 Season 1.3 Designer Notes. This patch is coming out April 16th for PC and April 17th for console. I got a new video idea. You can envision it right now as I wave my hand in the sky. I'm planning on doing a quick and easy patch notes review. That's all it is. I take the patch notes, I talk about what they changed, I give you my thoughts, and that's it. Super fast, super easy quick video i don't want to do like a 20 minute video where you're sitting there listening to me ramble on about the same shit over and over again i just want boom bam pow and we're out of there that's it so we're gonna hop right into the operators starting with lion they replaced the scan outline by red ping debuff they reduced the ability warning from 3 to 1.5 seconds they reduced the scanning from 4 to 2 seconds they reduced the ability cooldown from 27 to 15 seconds and they increased the number of charge from 2 to 3. i'm not going to talk about him much just because I already made a whole video on him and I don't want to waste time. Under the same boat as Capitao, they reduce the damage per tick from 19 to 12 of his flame bolts, they increase the area of effect, the air takes 2 seconds to reach its max size, and now it has gravity after 10 meters. Pretty solid changes for him. The increased area of effect is really nice. It's gonna make him, it's gonna require more thought when it comes to placements of his flaming bolts. These next operators we're gonna spend a bit more time on. Nomad now has a sound cue that activates when her air jabs are activated. And I'm sure it'll sound something like this. They also replaced her claymores with stun grenades, and this kind of drops her to more of a support role, which I think was the original intention. The uh, claymore air jab combo might have been a bit too strong in that regard, so they were like, yeah, let's bring her down a notch. I think it's a solid change. She's not going to be able to set up Rube Goldberg machines into kills. I hope you like getting flashed into a nomad because that's where we are right now. I'm not saying that. <laughs> ding ding, it's Ying. Up next is Ying. And what they did is they inverted the cooking mechanic for her candelas. Now, uh, I'm still trying to figure out what the fuck this actually means, but from the looks of it, if you charge it up and you throw it, it blows up immediately. If you throw it in right away, then it's on a timer and then it blows up. I'm not sure how that works with like the amount that comes out. This change is good because it leaves Ying more vulnerable, but it forces players to think more about the placements as opposed to just yucking them in there and hoping you blast somebody. I think what they're trying to do here is kind of make Ying, instead of a one-man army, they kind of want her to be involved more with other operators. Because right now it's just spam your shit and go in. My big man Kaid had his slug ammo reduced from 61 to 51. This isn't gonna really change much. If you take a look at the sausage, you use one clip to destroy a wall and you don't have any ammo left, so I'm not sure why there's a huge difference between this and the sausage, but it's not gonna affect much. And the AUG A3 got a damage increase from 27 to 33. This is gonna make the AUG a bit more viable, I think. People might be using the AUG over the, the shotgun, so it's like you either do construction with a solid weapon, or you have a really good AR. Maestro got a pretty massive nerf. It reduced his effectiveness of his evil eyes, by making it so a Thatcher or a Shock Drone will open up the Bulletproof window halfway, and then I'm assuming a Shock Drone will be able to finish it off. Uh, this essentially makes it so Twitch can destroy all of the Evil Eyes in prep phase if the Maestro is stupid enough to put him down. And this, since Thatcher's got a really high pick rate, he's pretty much going to be able to take care of all of them. Um, so I don't know, this might completely ruin his pick rate. Maestro's really going to have to work with Mute or Mozzie or any other operator that can really take care of drones. And maybe Jaeger too would be really good with. This is a, a big focus on synergies here. Oh shit! Is that a Blitz nerf? Holy shit it is! Blitz got a fat nerf. They increased his flash cooldown from 2 to 7 seconds. 7 seconds. That's a long time. This is gonna force players to use a bit more strategy instead of just yeeting into the objective and flashing anything that moves. He's gonna have to actually be used as a wall as opposed to a one-man army, similar to how Ying is. This is a good change. It's gonna make Blitz way less frustrating. Finally, we have Echo. It's a slight nerf for him. Uh, and a slight buffer IQ. You can detect Echo now with IQ. Nice little buffer IQ, somewhat useful. Uh, this is gonna be great for nade operators. So IQ can go and shoot all the ADSs or whatever, and then be like, hey, Echo's in here. And then Buck just, you know, cooks his nade and then yeets it, and it goes like under the door, over the statue, down around the corner, drops down the stairs, rolls under the, the, under the breakable door, and then it blows up Echo, it's easy. I think 
this patch is a big focus on making the operators work together. Because that's the whole point of this game, right? You want to be working together with the other operators. It's a team-oriented game. So it makes sense to nerf operators in a way that requires them to get a helping hand from other operators. The only one that I have some reservations about is really Maestro. I think that's a big nerf. I'm worried it's gonna make him like almost useless, at least his gadget wise. Like his gun's still really good, but his gadget's gonna be really poor. The chances of having a Twitch or a Thatcher on the, the attacking side is almost 100%, I'm sure. Because Twitch is already, her gun's amazing to begin with and her drone is really good. So either the defense team is gonna have to stack up on anti EMPs or anti-shock drones or the attacking team is gonna have to be really sleuthy about how they do their work uh, It's almost gonna become a defend the evil eyes game provided maestro's pick rate doesn't tank too much So let me know what you guys think about this quick review of the patch notes I'm still working out the kinks uh, trying to figure out how I want to write the script and how I want to uh, Present the information to you and how I can get my thoughts across to you without taking a half hour to do anything So I hope you guys enjoy this one. I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.